Hey, good morning everybody. Oh, battery. I have to show you this. Check out my waterfall. That is an angel trumpet, and you can't even imagine the scent that comes off of it. There's a young family that's very interested in a swim pond. They saw pictures of mine. The conversation I had with them, they reminded me so much of myself. Hey, none of us in the car actually knew what Contigny, like what is Contigny? Cantini? Cantini. <laughs> that's how far off I am. I still spell phone with an F. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. Oh, battery. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Brian with Team Aquascape, and thank you so much for joining us on the Sunday edition. This is new for me and, and kind of a lot of fun. It's kind of a day in the life of what goes on. You can see I've got my daughter in the back doing some TikToks with her good friend. This week's starting off a little crazy. In fact, on a Sunday, I actually have two consultations, and we never, ever do this. I try to leave that time for my family, but there's a young family that's very interested in a swim pond. They saw pictures of mine. The conversation I had with them, they reminded me so much of myself. So they've got a set of twins, younger boys, a younger daughter, I believe. So they want to design a pond for their family, recreation pond. At one point he said 30 feet deep. I said possible, but maybe not very practical. He just wants something deep that he can swim in. But they're going to come here, see how I enjoy living in the Aquasky lifestyle. And then hopefully after that, we get to set up a meeting at their house uh, sometime this week. And I can take you guys on that tour. I also have another consultation for a neighbor down the street. And somebody just down the street that I don't usually charge. Let's see how it all pans out today and what the rest of the week looks like hold on so they just left it went really really well they loved seeing their kids interact with it the way they did you always know it's a success when the kids are crying because they have to leave probably build it next year but we'll design it in the next few days here or so things they really really want to see and what I should have done with my pond is designed it more for the future so when I designed my original pond I designed it for my kids and at the point I just uh, had one we have three now and the way the kids used it when they were young is completely different than the way they use it when they're 13. I should have designed it more for how are they gonna use it when they're 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're gonna make sure we design it that way for uh, this family next week. I think it's the last day of August because my kids start school, first day of e-learning, but for me it is Monday, the beginning of a new week, and I'll have to tell you this, it feels awesome today. There's this crisp in the air. We always have this thing with construction that August, it's right in the middle of our season, we get a little burnt out. We just seem to put out a lot of fires. Since the time I started working with Aquascape, our best time of year is September, and I think it's because of what's going on right now. It's that crisp in the air. It's get a second wind and we come out here and we just go at it and i'm here in my backyard like i am every morning got off the phone with chris kind of getting the day planned and i have to show you this check out my waterfall it's looking really cool that is an angel trumpet plant and you can't even imagine the scent that comes off of it but the flowers are just looking so cool hanging out over my waterfall and so I think because of seeing that, this week's gonna be awesome. One of our biggest challenges for this year right now, we have more projects sold than time's gonna allow. Maybe we'll get a break in the weather in December and uh, continue to keep going this week. I think we have three or four consultations we have to do. We're out at our job in Downers Grove and uh, we're gonna take you guys on that ride with us. Hang on. My hair is looking interesting. It's early, I just got out of the shower, had some breakfast. Got to give Chris a call, got to give Jenna a call, and uh, make sure this week is going as planned. So let's get on the phone here with Chris. This is really weird for me. Hey, bud. Hey, looks like the rain's going to hold off. I didn't actually look at anything. I just feel like it should. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be there in a bit. I think we'll bang out that waterfall today. Yeah, that sounds fun. One down. Let's give Jenna a call really quick. Good morning. Good morning, Jenna. This phone call may be recorded for... Um, training purposes? Training purposes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, I need your help today. I need to get those people that I met with on Sunday scheduled. Five. Good news. Yeah. Is construction made their August budget by like fourteen hundred bucks. What What saved us was that consultation that came in. <laughs> Five thousand so, dollar consultation. It sounds like the retail store killed it again. Yep. So super exciting to leave work yesterday on a high note. Awesome. We'll get uh, that all lined up. All right. All right guys, so I just pulled up to the job site. I see some of the rocks. 
have shown up. I've also got my iPad, my coffee here, because I've got to bang out a bid for the guy that I met with last week. So I wanted to turn this around and just show you guys kind of the progress out here. So Matt's finishing off our planters. Definitely got to run some low voltage cable in here because they're going to want to do some lighting. We're going to work on this waterfall today. So we've got a waterfall coming this way, a big waterfall coming that way. We want to finish off that beach section. You can see we've started the swim up koi bar over here, but today is finish that. I have a weekly call, start waterfalls, and see if we can't dodge the rain. They said it's coming. Well, we didn't get quite as far as we wanted to today. We tried to be optimistic about uh, the weather not coming in, but it is starting to rain. Rain days suck, but they're also kind of nice because you're able to get some stuff cut up. So I'm going to head back to the office. Just part of the day. All right, busy morning. We've got to get uh, the three kids to school. I already had my talk with Chris this morning, making pancakes. Is that your favorite? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we have to do all of this in under 20 minutes. I have a consultation at 10. Um, don't really like doing consultations at 10 because it's kind of right in the middle of the day, but I also think I'm going to sneak in a haircut, okay? <laughs> have to meet with Dave Kelly to go over some new products. I would love to show you all the new products, but these are products for 2022. I think I'd get fired if I showed you that. All right, haircut done, check. Kids dropped off, check. Now I'm on my way to my first consultation. The notes say she really fell in love with the indoor pond inside of our showroom. That's a nine by 14 foot pond. And on her wish list, she just wants uh, an area where she can kind of sit by the edge of the pond and dip her toe in there. Should work and she's got about $10,000 budget. So that's a very good budget. So let's go head out to Berwyn, see if we can't design her her new dream pond. Here we go, bye. So awesome, just finished up my uh, first consultation of the day. What I love about this backyard is actually an enormous transformation we're gonna make. But when you take a space like this, you can bring it to its fullest potential in a short amount of time. So what we designed is kind of a pathway that comes from here over to a seating area on that side. When I do a pathway with the seating area, then of course we get the opportunity to do a bridge. Waterfall is gonna sit over here. I have to build a retaining wall to hold back all that soil for the berm on the waterfall. And then we're gonna do about a 16 foot pond that kind of comes over into here, and it's about 14 feet. And then this bridge leads to a pergola sitting area over there. They're gonna put up a new fence. We've left plenty of room for landscape on the side, over in there, it's just gonna be perfect. And then of course, we'll have our seat rock where she can dip her toe into the water. <laughs> Very cool, on to the next one. All right, so quick little detour. Stopped out here at Contigny, which is in Winfield, Illinois, meeting our product development team. Matt Augustine, product manager here. Eric Holmes, product nice. designer. What are we doing? Chatting with you and Ed, trying to get some of your expertise, some of your ideas. What are the products? It's top secret stuff. Well, it's a little bit in the future, so uh, unfortunately I can't give you too much information about it. But you will. What are the products? <laughs> no more information. It's, it's very exciting stuff. Hey, none of us in the car actually knew what Contigny, like, what is Contigny? Cantini? Cantini. <laughs> like, that's, that's how far off I am. I still spell phone with an F. <laughs> it was an, it's an estate. Yeah, it's an estate. It's a Robert McCormick estate. These two would not tell us why we're here. What product are we working on? Lock a box. What? Lock a few locks. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely top secret. So actually the reason we're meeting here is Ed is actually working on a project out here, which I know nothing about. Be the wooden bridge going across over in here, stone bridge, and then we're gonna have stepping stones. So they get tons of kids and all that type of stuff out here. So we're gonna have interaction all in this section. There's gonna be like a deepish channel going down through the middle. Waterfalls are gonna start up in that section. The bridge is really cool. I like the design of the right? bridge. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. So all of that, that's what's going on from here to there. So that fancy bridge is like in that area. Stepstone type bridge is over in there. Fog filter, waterfalls. Really cool project. And it looks like Ed, you're working with all just native stone. This is all stuff that they had. They had? Right. Nice. All right, back to the meeting. Back to the meeting. Well, that was a super productive meeting, guys. Is this a 20... 2023? That's how far out we are. Oh my God. A couple years of R&D, stuff you get to play with. And who gets fired if it doesn't work? <laughs> that actually was a really cool meeting. Love looking into the future like that. It's one of my favorite parts of the job, just kind of coming up with new products, new ideas, solving problems, just making things better and better and better. And that's why we actually have a construction division to uh, be constantly field researching the products that we sell to all you guys. And so let's go meet with our family that we met over on Sunday. Here we go. 
All right, guys, I just finished. I'm actually really excited about this one. I know we probably won't be able to do it for eight months, maybe even longer. We still use the garden hose all the time. The reason I like the garden hose is it really allows you to see the shape of the pond. Doing a drawing and then trying to convert that drawing back to the backyard, it's like an epic waste of time. So we've got a 31 foot pond from there to here. Here about 25 feet from here to that cove over there. We're gonna do a big giant waterfall, drop it in right there. Right here is gonna be a dive rock. So we wanna set up a rock probably somewhere around three, four feet tall here. That'll come down into six feet of water over in here. We're gonna do a formal staircase coming right off their existing patio that allows them to effortlessly come into here. I'm thinking 18 inches of steps before you go down to the, the six foot deep area. Big boulders all over the place. Right in this cove here, the whole pond's gonna overflow into a 3,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system, which will then keep this whole pond self-sustaining and allow him to water his vegetable garden. I wanna create a staircase off the backside of the patio here that lets them come down into this rainwater harvesting system. We're gonna do kind of a mini version of what we did for my house where his younger kids can kind of come down in here and play. The other big trick I wanna do, so we've got this big berm right in here. I wanna take a culvert pipe, put it right there. I wanna get a five foot diameter culvert pipe, wrap it in liner, run it back that way, set two feet of it underneath water so you can swim up through the pipe and then put the pipe on an angle where it comes out dry on the back side over here. This will allow the kids to swim up and climb up some stairs, get back to the jump platform and come this way. The other idea is five foot diameter pipe and then a three foot diameter pipe up that leads to a platform up on top. And then uh, he asked if we could figure out some kind of water cannon that shoots water out over the pond. And I said, we just wanna look at the distance the water cannon can shoot so you're not getting soaked <laughs> all the time sitting over in there. The only other thing we would add, possibly redo this pathway here and bring a section of this pond, probably eight feet wide, over back into this area so when he's grilling and hanging out, cooking, he can be looking over that railing at fish swimming around there. And then this pathway gets away from being so straight and would come to a bridge right here and then kind of curve back that way. And then a path that wise off that way, allowing him back to the swing set. So that's a lot of cool things going on with this pond. And that's just in the backyard. Let's go look what we're doing in the front yard. <laughs> So it's an awesome addition. He's actually got a slate wall finish going around the columns. My thought was to take our slate walls, stack them here and curve them that way, turning this whole thing into a big water wall that falls down into a section of three spheres that overflow through a waterfall, come down, cut out a section of this, bridge goes here, stream comes this way, twists hard goes through 10 feet of 12 inch culvert pipe because they're well huds right there and if a truck ever has to come in and change the well they got to be able to drive over something that leads to a you know 2000 gallon harvest system over there so that's a 50 foot stream on a really cool front yard feature sitting in this area and that elevation right there allows me to pull off that waterfall coming down this way. I was just invited upstairs to see the construction, but there's the size of the pond. And so his daughter, Madison, really has the master bedroom, right? Because <laughs> this is the best view by far. That's really cool. So what a crazy couple days. Um, thanks so much for following me along. That consultation last night, I'm extremely excited about. I think next week, I'll actually show you guys how I bid that whole thing out. How I lay it all out, how I figure out how many days it's gonna take, how I figure out how much stone it's gonna take, where the lights go, where the pumps go, all that kind of stuff. So I don't normally do drawings, but I think it'll be the best way for me to show you guys exactly how I bid out a big rec pond like that. I know he's way over his budget on that stuff, but we talked about it and he's comfortable with seeing it. So if we have to make some modifications, then we will. We'll get the ball rolling, get a price to him. But thanks so much for joining us. This concludes the Sunday vlog.